Ready? Uh-huh. So this is the mobile fear frame constructed. It's got some cameras hoisted to it, so come in closer, Heather. You can see we have cameras in the corners. I actually have one right here, but each corner has a camera and then we have cameras in the middle. This allows us to get a really large, contiguous field of view of a really big area of reef and then watch all the fish and all their behavior within that area of reef, which of course we can then move to a new area. So it gives us a lot of freedom and flexibility to sort of follow these roving fish schools uh, that I have been talking about. Uh, the other thing that's kind of nifty about this is we had to figure out ways to get these cameras really securely on here. And of course we used zip ties or cable ties, which are a field biologist's best friend, but we needed them to be a little bit more secure. And luckily for us, we just so happened to bring these little twisties with us because we thought, hey, these are useful. Maybe they'll be effective for some kind of experimental application. And lo and behold, they became an essential piece of the setup because they provide enough uh, tension on the cable tie to really secure the camera in place. So when we're swimming around and there's current and waves moving around, the camera actually doesn't really move. So it gives us this pretty stable uh, field of view for each camera. So whenever we set this up, Heather and I just basically cable tie the joints together and we add these extra twisties, whichever ones we haven't used for the cameras. We add these to, to hold those joints together and then we can just break it down instantaneously and then set it up again elsewhere if we want to. Luckily for us, we've been able to hide this in the woods for the past few days here on the, one of our home beaches. So we haven't had to break it down and set it up back uh, over and over and over again, which saves us a ton of time. So this is what it looks like. Also, he forgot the most important part. This is where I record the data when we're scaring the fish. It's a handy little flip notepad that my brother gave us and it fits very nicely on the PVC. Oh yeah, and show them the level. Oh yeah, we also have a level, which I haven't really been using in the last couple weeks, but basically it helps us keep the frame steady and uh, level. Yeah.